All right, ladies and gentlemen, Fab's in the house and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm in the house with a Derek Stang Pyrenees here with me for a quick review, but hey, don't forget to like the video and to subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying this kind of content. Look at this. This is something you don't see that often. It comes with this uh, nice case. Inside of the case, you find uh, uh, Derek's uh, uh, business card with some uh, details uh, about a knife. Look at that, certificate of authenticity. That's a pretty cool thing to have. Um, and then you find uh, this thing inside and that's a very interesting one. Um, so I need to thank uh, my buddy Blair for sending this guy along so I'm able to share my impressions uh, uh, with you. You can also give him a follow to his Instagram at uh, uh, Knife Island. And um, let's check this guy out. Um, first of all, the size of the Blade is gonna be like, look at that, 3.6 inches, a little bit over 3.5. Handle is gonna be 4.8, 4.9, and the overall length on this fella is gonna be, look at that, like 8.5 five uh, inches. So it's uh, it's a big boy uh, with a small blade. So handle to blade ratio, you can see it's not, uh, Ideal, like for example, I don't know if I take uh, this guy over here. Uh, this one has probably the same uh, blade length, but just you know shorter handle. But uh, the purpose of this knife is not to have a. Um, uh, good handle to blade ratio because this is like a workhorse. It's like, uh, look at the stock thickness and how the handle is made. I mean, this is begging to be held like that. So you can just like hammer with this uh, uh, thing. This is like a workhorse, really. It's solid, really robust knife made in Canada. Derek Stang from Alberta. It's uh, I think the price is around $750. This is the second uh, iteration of uh, uh, this knife and there's some tweakings happening uh, in this one and uh, it's uh, it has improved for sure from the first version, but I still feel that there's a, a little bit of um, uh, work to do uh, because uh, the, the basis is really good. It's something new, something very different, uh, um, but something needs to be uh, done to improve a little bit uh, um, the feel maybe to, to this one. But anyways, this is like a titanium frame lock with this pretty cool checkered uh, pattern. It's not like too deep milled. You see like there's like a nice uh, curve to it. It's uh, it's uh, it, it has some 3D-ness to it and this texture is pretty good. You got uh, the option to configure the, the, the color of, you see, the accents uh, for the uh, pivot, uh, for the clip, the backspacer and the handle screws. So matching together, they give a nice contrast to the overall knife. That's, uh, that's very good. Um, it's a titanium frame lock, of course. Uh, 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 with a, a thumb hole opening, uh, nicely chamfered. Um, it's a little bit too big like this. Uh, you see, you can easily just get like your finger trapped into it. If you just use it too much and you close it, it's gonna kind of squeeze it. So that's probably a little bit too big. So you just, if you wanna use like, a, a, like that, you, you just have to use like your, like you see like that, your, um, uh, fingernail like in with the thumb stud it's it's pretty good because you're not gonna do this so you're just gonna use your thumb like that and that deploys uh, fine but with the spidey flick option yeah it's probably a little bit too big for me um, and then you've got of course like crew wear uh, um, steel which you can actually read on from this side right over there and uh, it's uh, it's a very interesting one guys uh, let's quickly check the weight on this fella uh, because there is uh, one milling pocket only in the show side and that's gonna show in the weight at 5.13 ounces so not super light but I mean it's a big boy so that's yeah and also like the sound this guy makes it's very interesting, nice clacky. It's like a good quality sound. Ergonomics are also pretty good. Um, this finger groove is gonna be the main groove. There's no finger choice, so this guy's gonna be held like that and you can just feel that this is begging to, put, to be put to work. So there you have it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to check my full length review. And thanks for watching. Stay tuned.